I've always been trying to combine the major and the minor blues, but what about the other scales like Mixolydian and Dorian and incorporating that into my phrasing? Uh, you're especially right when you say like that in blues we can incorporate many scales together, like most uh, guitarists start with minor pentatonic, then add some notes of the major pentatonic, mm -hmm. but it doesn't need to stop there, so we can add a lot of other scales. And uh, like you said, especially like over different chords, we can play different things. If we look at the A7 chord, for instance, like just a dominant 7 chord played from the center here uh, of the 5th fret on the guitar, uh, there are, in that arpeggio, like three of the notes are just like the major chord, right. and then we have the flat 7, which is a note from like the minor pentatonic. So we can play... This is an instance where some of the notes from major pentatonic and minor pentatonic meet, it, meet each other. So this is a great way of also um, adding in some extra runs in your playing. And I found that just playing the arpeggio over such a chord can add a really cool texture to your sound. Like this. Yeah. All right. And try playing the arpeggio just as a kickstart for playing your normal scale runs or licks. So you can just play like the very first five or six notes. Like, of course, that's the fourth note pattern. So we have root, third, then the fifth, seventh, flat seven that is, and then it repeats. So we can play one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe the very first seven notes. All right. So we have a cool run through that arpeggio. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and then you can go into all your uh, nitty gritty licks uh, that you normally play, so that's cool. Uh, you can try it, I'm gonna play uh, A7 here. All right. There are some cool ideas with this, and it's just a simple idea to get you started. Of course, we can add other things to the mix, but if you look at the the blues runs you're playing just from the arpeggio shape, you can also, of course, add in the other notes from major pentatonic and minor pentatonic. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, let's start, because you're playing on the 7th string, let's start with the high E, that's right. going to be the same as my guitar. All right. So here we have um, the C note, so this is the flat 3 played over A7 like we do in a minor pentatonic scale. Then we have the B and the A. And then on the B string we can play G, F sharp, and then E. And I can hear you thinking like F sharp isn't really in like any minor pentatonic, but mm -hmm. it's also like uh, part of the major pentatonic, yeah. and also in Dorian we use that. Mm -hmm. note. So uh, it's uh, if you play an A thirteen chord, it's right here that, okay. that F sharp note. So we can play here on the first two strings eight seven five. And then all, also on the G string, we have the blue note here, which is the 8th fret in this case. Right. And then we have like what you mentioned, the minor tree to the major tree here. Yeah. So we can play something like... Uh, yeah, yeah. And then... I just end it on the flat seven, yeah, right. So if you start out with this run here. You can add all those extra notes here. So I hope this helps. Uh, Definitely a lot, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank cool. you. Thanks so much, Anthony.